Hello, I'm Andrew Sim. Welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris as the Terran Imperium. Uh, right, so we've just sort of expanded beyond Sol. We've managed to uh, find out that Alpha Centauri has a fairly nice planet and also quite a nice solar system. Um, other than that, we found some uh, drones from an event that don't like us over here. And we're just kind of uh, spreading out, having a look around. You need to go heal because the drones kind of hurt you. Um, let's go faster. Let you heal up. Construction ship can't really do much right now, waiting for more minerals. Which we're using to heal our science ship, unfortunately. I was wondering where our minerals were going. Like, oh yeah, healing. And then we'll get you to... what's that? K-class. G-class, G there we go. G-class is the most likely to be, um... Terran-like? The most likely to have a planet, complete. to put it that way. They have the plants in the gold lock zone. Although that said, Arctic plants could probably be at just outside the gold lock zone. Maybe they're at the edge. I don't know. The point being, it's mostly to have a habitable planet. System survey complete. Uh, twenty percent chance of failure. Efforts to map the surface planet have identified strange amount of formation. It's something. Oh, it's the um, giant alien that went from another dimension to here. Sure. Wow, that's a lot of trails. Research. Okay, we've got enough to be able to do uh, some mining stations. And I want to do a mineral mining station because right now we're actually making positive uh, energy. Are you in our... Yes. Aha. Ah! Okay, uh, you've leveled up and grade. Excuse field manipulation. Okay. Um, meanwhile, construction ship, come over here and... Yeah, three minerals. That's very nice. Grab that. Um, Clossalian life form. Fascinating. We gain investigate. Sure, let's go find out where you are. Situation log updated. Research project. So yeah, you've got field manipulation because you plus ten percent speed to researching. Um, field manipulation physics tech. I believe you only used to get those as the very first trait you always got, but I think our trait mod is changing that so that you can get them anytime. I went for one of the more vanilla -y trait mods, where it doesn't change all that much. It just adds basically no new options uh, in between the current options. Like, it adds to the spectrum, so more powerful ones, less powerful System ones. System survey Nectars. complete. Anomaly Ooh. found. Uh, 30% chance. A small rectangular object on the surface of the planet is re uh, reflecting all scanning beams. Okay. Um, yeah. Sure, we'll do it. 30% chance. Just don't die. That would be expensive to replace you. Special project complete. Oh, hello. Welcome to the surface. Uh, we have found an artificial carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They've not detected any of the signs of alien activity. Okay, so we get a uh, special project. Situation log updated. Have you got anything else to do? No. Okay, in which case, uh, research the project. I'm getting a lot of uh, science on that planet, and the organic starship. Ooh, no, no. Uh, it was an organic starship. It didn't come through a portal. Ooh, much smaller bones from at least three separate species are found within a larger skeleton. We assume that these came from members of the crew. For no reasons, the organic starship suffered catastrophic damage and crash landed. We cannot begin to understand the biological engineering necessary to grow a starship. The study of the bones, though, will have substantial advances to our knowledge. Awesome. That is a reference to Farscape. I believe it's Farscape. They're going on over there. That's pretty cool. I really want that planet. That That's going to be massive. That amount of uh, science. In fact, if I find a lot of stuff around here is useful, I will probably set up a... Um, what's it called? Outpost. Research complete. Okay. Um, just that's our research bonus. Sure. Ooh, deflectors. Uh, but we get the Thyron Power Plant too, which will really synergize well. Uh, but we need to build the second Thyron Power Plant, that costs to upgrade. We don't have any Thyron yet. Uh, I'm going to go for Deflectors, because that buffs your ships so much to actually start having shields on them. They can take so many more hits. And we need that for our military, because our military must be strong and represent the Imperium. Um, what else? I really think I'm going to set up a outpost there. Are you a A-class? A-class? A K-class? Oh, K's not bad. F. G, there we go, we'll go to the end. Construction ship. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's do it. Right, we'll set up a uh, outpost there. We'll get the science, which will be very nice. Uh, that is a big increase to our science. Uh, and then we'll also go for a couple of new Corvettes. Why can't I build my leader Corvette? I should be able to build my leader's Corvette. I was about to talk about my leader's Corvette. So basically, it's a military dictatorship. You can build a Corvette that's named after your leader, which is like super large and has like 50% buffs to like all of its things. But right now, I'm not seeing it available in the list, which is really weird. Um, I probably want triple smalls at the moment. And red laser. Uh, okay. Save that. There we go, the Aeon class. So yeah, it's called the Aeon class. It's effectively the same, but named after our uh, Empress. Um, it's, it really should say Corvette like bracket leader or something. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go for a couple more of these. I don't want to build the leader one yet because I'm pretty sure the leader one can't be upgraded. And because of that, I don't want to build it until you know it's getting towards the end of her lifespan or we desperately need it in a war because it'll be quite powerful. Seventy days left. Hmm. I don't do those too much yet. I want to try and focus on getting the colony thing, so I don't do too many things that are going to require us to do society. updated. Hello. What are you? <gasps> no. This is our place. It has a continental world. I don't know why I investigate it from there. I can investigate it from here. Continental, 18, 80%. Yeah. That's mine. Here's off. There we go. Special project complete. Uh, murals, techno library, logical. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sorry. Collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy about 80 million years ago. A lot of it's already known to us, but the data does contain several promising leads for technologies we've not yet considered. There is enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades. Ooh. Plus two, plus two, plus two. Yeah, we are putting up a frontier station. Uh, and I'm gonna put it up here, I'm gonna put it up here, and then I hope we expand because this is two other planets nearby. So. Wait until the end of the month. In the meantime, B, M, We'll do the F. And a load of upgrades. Construction awesome. complete. All right, frontier outpost. Excellent. I'm gonna to need to rename this fleet. It's currently named the Elysium fleet. It's in the name list. Uh, so this is gonna be the Imperial fleet. Okay. And we're going to take you on an outing. And I will upgrade Ships you. Upgraded. Construction complete. Can't get a leader yet, so yeah, we're going to take you over here. Murder all the, like, little gribbly drones. Right, go kill, go kill. Now, I have got beautiful battles and downscaled ships. You can tell I've got downscaled ships because I can zoom into my maximum and they don't fill the screen. Um, also, beautiful battles means that it, basically there's a slightly higher range of weapons and a few other things. But that should mean that you get ships like firing from range rather than just going in and getting them like turned into a little bobble of ships all just pushing together and rubbing and stuff. It just looks weird. But all weapons have the range increase. It doesn't like make any massive differences. I heard a warp signature. Alright, space counts. Yes! Yes, my pretties! Murder them! Situation 
situation log updated. Ooh. Okay, so they lost two. I lost none. Oh yeah. Um, sweet. We evaded eleven percent. They evaded zero. Uh, we will want to look at this at some point. Um, how many have you got left to do? Six orders? One. Yeah, you can do it. Go back and heal. What the hell? Where's that from? Oh, there. System survey complete. Evading hostile fleet. Hello? What's that? Space amoeba. God damn it, space amoeba. Research complete. Continue. Moved. Batharium power plant. Yes. Do we got any Batharium? No, no Batharium around, I can see. Oh, well. Uh, Gecko missiles. Minerals plus 5%. Armor damage is good. But getting to the next level, um, being able to produce destroyers, I think has to come fairly early on. Because people are going to be aggressive. I want my military to be Research badass. Research complete. Colony ships. That's, that's it. That's what I wanted. Um... Now, Military Academy is good for landing forces, but I think that considering who we are, propaganda broadcast makes a lot of sense. Yeah, let's go propaganda broadcast. The Imperium is here for your best, like, benefits and your own good, etc. Uh, it'll take us, what, like, a year to get the materials together to build a colony ship, but, meh. Fine. They've been repaired. They're in orbit, which means they don't use up so much uh, resources. You're still surveying. And you're doing the research. Sweet. Debris analyzed. Fusion power physics research. Nice. Hmm. Just passing by. Okay, I, I also probably want to set up a wormhole station. That is going to take more of my... Minerals. Didn't really want to spend any of those minerals, but I guess I kind of have to. I won't build another wormhole station for now. I'm just going to leave my uh, construction ship there. Though I could go for the science. It depends. Do I want that early colony ship? I probably want the early colony ship, even though the science would be grand. Like, the science would... If I grab the science... I'd be increasing that by 50%. I'd be increasing that by almost 50%. Still, that's pretty nice. Might as well survey the system while you're there. System survey that is a complete. very nice system. I really want that system. Technically, we're losing energy credits. Minus a quarter of an energy credit a month. But that's fine. I'm going to happily sit there with, like, that loss. Back Demon is leveled up to level four. System survey complete. Labo, you have an ocean world. Not a bad ocean world. Is that? It's like 20 tiles. Um, I will sever this system. I'm probably going to get kicked out because it's a pulsar or something. What are you, pulsar? Yeah, pulsar. No? No enemies here? Huh. Okay. Unusually active solar system for Pulsar. Oh, 32%. Our science officers gain, uh, found an anomaly. It requires extensive probing, but could garner a substantial... F okay, 32%. Yeah, but you've actually got the... Yeah, research it. You've got the decreased chance of failure, so sure. I'm pretty sure Alpha Centauri is mine, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, but I will try and get Birius. Oh, Harsh Time has taken its toll. Our science team have failed to reveal anything about HMS Goosebeak that we already, not already know. Oh, well, that's. I'm 
unfortunate. It happens, it happens. There's a third chance of it, so. Research complete. Deflectors. Excellent. Oh, improved. No, I need. Uh, oh, fusion. I've already started fusion. I need the solar power network. Like, the benefit of solar panels is so good. But I really would like fusion. Complete. In fact, in my first ever game I played, the one I played when I was testing out the game before I actually started recording anything on camera, uh, I ended up going straight from, like, tier one, like, energy tech to tier, like, four or something. Missed out two steps. Because I just never got them. Like, they appeared once and I was like, no, nah, I need to get this first. And then they never appeared again. And I, ever since then, I've been paranoid about energy tech. Okay, fully with that. Still a little bit away from managing to fix that. But it's time for us to look at our Corvette and say, you need some shields. Save. How much would it cost to upgrade? No, nope, can't afford that yet. Need to set up for that colony ship. It's all about the colony ship here. Yeah. Okay. Dun. Let's get ourselves a colony ship. Right. Get going. System survey complete. It's a pretty decent system. I honestly, like, we haven't got a great system ourselves. It's okay. Like, it's not terrible. Um, but. Some of the surrounding systems are really good, especially with science, which I wasn't expecting to go down, but since they are great for science, sure. Also, at some point, I've got to start doing terror again, because I know that we've got, like, loads of people just sitting on tiles I just haven't worked on. Like, this really needs... This is calling out for a power plant. Anomaly found. Zero percent chance of failure. A banished ship being left adrift aimlessly by the moon. A massive solar sail uh, protruding from the hull suggests it relied on solar power to function. Um, okay, sails. Well, they're not really meant to be solar power, they're meant to be capturing photons to push you forwards, but whatever. Photon pressure, but, you know. Oh, now build my energy. Yeah, get the power plant going. Sure, I haven't come across any Batharian stone. Batharian stone's amazing. Seriously, early game, Batharian stone. It's the way forwards. Uh, interesting, a primitive design for this vessel. We gain some engineering knowledge. Grand. Nothing special, but it'll do. Proto. Ooh, proto of the thing character. The surface of Adar 3 has revealed that a certain regions of the planet are home to a primitive alien proto civilization. Our probe showed their Neolithic culture has mastered fire and. A rudimentary spoken language. There we go. I can words. Okay. It's a pretty nice world, though. Some good options around it for colonization, actually. I've got really lucky. Like, you are guaranteed to get two, or maybe three, worlds of your type, so continental worlds. I think I get two. I've got one, two. But I've also got a couple of quite nice uh, worlds around here. Like, this one here, 25 tile. Yeah. This one, 20 tile. Yeah. Research complete. What do we do? Propaganda broadcast. Um, as much as like I should, pro eh, no, I do want to go gene mapping. I want to go gene mapping specifically because uh, it makes sense for our like you know population to want to extend the life of our empress. We will we will find a way to get the emperor off his golden throne, and in the meantime, the empress shall have uh, more lives of years, years of life to her lifespan. Uh, yeah, obviously. But yeah, no, the point being that makes a load of thematic sense for us as well. Plus, it's also probably the best option there. Complete. So that chance. Found. Unusual energy reading emanate from this moon. Could be a glitch or it could be something more. Okay, 7% chance of failure. Do it. Find out what it is. Bring back their heads. But I think this is probably a good place to leave it. Our first colony ship is about to be out. I've been at Elysium. The Imperium will expand. But until next time. A micro singularity recently intersected. Blah blah blah. Ooh, plus three. Okay. But until next time, if you've liked, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Let me know down below how you're finding the series and how you're finding our approach to being aggressive and trying to murder everyone, although it's probably going to end up going particularly badly wrong. But until then, just remember to stay sharp.